Today, we're gonna talk about the four best templates for Notion. First and foremost, if you do not have Notion, you're gonna have to download it. Go to notion.so or just Google Notion and you're gonna hit this Try Notion for free button. By the way, each of these templates that I'm about to share with you is available to download in the description of this video. Let's start with the Eisenhower Matrix. Now, an Eisenhower Matrix is truly a pretty great way to organize your tasks because it allows you to visualize tasks that are urgent versus tasks that are not as urgent. If you want to download this Eisenhower matrix, all you're going to do is come up to duplicate and Notion is going to automatically save that to your Notion account. Now that I've hit duplicate, you can actually see this Eisenhower matrix under my own left side of the page. That means it's there. There's a couple things I can do. I can rename this so I can, um, if I wanted to, I could rename this uh, Eisenhower client matrix. You know, if I was, um, don't mind that misspelling. If I was using this for clients, no, yeah, I can't, I can't live with a misspelled. Um, from here, if you wanted to, you can delete boxes. So if you wanted to simply delete um, how to use this, go for it. This is where we would start adding tags. Um, this is where we would start adding, um, you know, client to do's. So yeah, I really like this one because as you can see, as you're putting some of these tasks in for your clients and you're switching things from to do, to important, to not important, um, you'll see here that as you put these in your list, it automatically populates under this very visual matrix as well. So this Eisenhower matrix is a slam dunk for me. If you're a visual person, don't hesitate to get this one. Number two, I know I've mentioned this before, but this is a Trello competitor for sure because this template also uses the Kanban style. So if you're somebody who is into really simple and simplified to-do lists, a Kanban style might just be for you. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to make it more simple for ourselves. We're gonna write to-do and either hit enter or this done button, Graphs is gonna to change to doing or in progress and done, we can keep done. And then we keep it really simple. So um, book client a flight, let's say you have another to do, find dog walker for client B and find painter for client C. Okay, and then as you're doing, doing, done, um, say you started to work on travel, you can drag and drop that over. When you're done with that, you can drag and drop that over. So again, super simple, very visual way. Um, so if you, I recommend this if you're, you're looking for just a simple solution. No bells and whistles here. Um, the benefits of this, again, is simplicity. The cons of something like this is that you don't necessarily get a sense for what tasks are urgent and what's not. Just something to consider as you're looking at this template. Template number three that I think is awesome is a weekly agenda. And this template is fantastic if you are somebody who needs to separate big ideas or deadlines or tasks out by day. Um, so I think this is actually pretty cool because there's a couple things that I find super motivating about this particular template. Um, number one, you can enter milestones. You could definitely use this as sort of a pick me up or a morale booster. So you could even write something every morning like, um, you know, milestones. My client gave me an accolade. My client told me I was doing a good job. Have that right there. That is definitely an awesome pick me up to be seeing every single day. Um, I like this shit that needs to get done. <laughs> you could definitely put your um, kind of brain dump. So let's just say you read through your emails in the morning and you have like 10 different tasks that you need to get done. You could just brain dump those under the get it done column. And then when you have time to really sit down and plan it out, you basically plan out every single day. So Monday you could to take your get should done list and put those into like, all right, I'm gonna do um, book flights here on Tuesday. I'm going to find a dog walker on Wednesday. I'm going to call for um, car maintenance for my client. Maybe a client's given you a deadline and you know, that's due Friday. Um, this is a really, really, really a pretty excellent all encompassing template. Um, also, if you are familiar with something like a Panda planner, these are book pen and paper versions of basically this template. 
The reason Panda Planners are very cool, and I've actually talked about this in another video, is because it does allow you to write things down, um, like write all your tasks down, but then put them in a more organized manner. It allows you to add deadlines to a calendar. It even allows you to write things like what went well today, what didn't go well. So this kind of template I think is really helpful if you're the type of person who really likes to go through their work every day and try to figure out like, what's going well, what am I doing right in my business, what could be improved upon, um, where do I you know, see areas of improvement for my freelance business. This weekly agenda is it. This is absolutely the right one for you. And finally, my number four pick is a client database. So this particular database I think is really best suited for somebody who's looking for something a little more complicated or a little more specific than just the to-do list. However, it's not as complicated as the weekly agenda. So if you're someone who falls in between, like you know you need due dates because to-do lists just get longer and you never get anything done, but you don't necessarily need to plan out your whole week, this database is actually pretty handy. So the way that this works is, um, oops, is, mm, 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 mm. The way that this works is we can actually um, change this, let's rename topic to task. So what we can actually do here, again, find dog, walker, we're just gonna put, we're just, you know, something simple. Book travel, and somebody needs car maintenance. So something like this is um, pretty easy. By the way, I'm gonna delete this column because we don't have subcontractors. So I hope by now you're seeing that Notion actually is pretty flexible and that you can add, delete, move columns around. It's pretty great um, if you're not building them from scratch. So here it's, I like this too, because you can, you can actually type out the task that you're doing. It's a color coded, who are you doing it for? You can add to do dates. You can add times that you hope to get this done by. Um, you can even add reminders uh, that will pop up on your screen. So all those super, super handy. And then of course we can do something like doing to do um, in the process of completed. Uh, I like that there's an additional checkbox for what's been done. So if you have a deadline that you set for yourself, for example, at 4 p.m., click done and you're done any links that you might need to add. Um, maybe here, if you've found a dog walker, you wanna include the link to the dog walker that you actually found. And you can even add things here, like, um, you know, it costs $45 an hour. Any of these four templates that I showed you today on Notion will absolutely help take your business from zero to hero. Um, and again, if you don't feel comfortable making your own database, these templates, Templates are the way to go. And as I mentioned before, there are thousands of templates for you to use that are free and fantastic for your business. So don't be afraid to explore, but I hope that these four that I've highlighted today help get you started. If you guys have any questions about Notion or if you have a template that you like that I'm missing, send it my way because I'm always looking for ways to make my business better. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and I will catch you on the next one.